join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. This tunnel is the Dublin Port Tunnel, 4.5 kilometres of Irish engineering. Well, actually, it was built by an Anglo-Irish and Japanese consortium, but hey. It's the fourth longest urban tunnel in Europe and by far the longest on the island of Ireland. The Dublin Port Tunnel forms part of the M50 motorway. Therefore, if you're arriving off one of the ferries that dock at Dublin Port, you're likely to end up using this to head northward. Dublin is not an easy city to drive in after all, and this tunnel greatly simplifies getting out to the northern suburbs. As I mentioned, the tunnel connects with Dublin's M50, which is Ireland's busiest motorway, circling the northern, western and southern suburbs of Dublin in a C-shape. This is a twin bore tunnel, meaning that it's a dual carriageway. What's interesting is that the two tunnel boring machines used, which had to bore through limestone and clay, were given the Irish women's names Megan and Grania. I'm sure the Megans and Grannies of Ireland are all very flattered by that fact. Work on the tunnel started in 2001, but had been in the planning since 1993. It opened to HGV traffic on the 20th of December 2006 and to all other traffic in January 2007. The project cost 752 million euros, probably good value for such an ambitious engineering project. For the money, there were certainly many benefits cited to this tunnel project. In the first place, it takes just six minutes to get from the port to the M50. It has allegedly reduced the number of heavy goods vehicles in the city, thereby aiding Dublin transport more generally. It has supposedly reduced traffic congestion and made the streets safer in residential areas. It has apparently reduced traffic noise and improved air pollution and it has made cycling more feasible in the city. Now these are the great claims at least, and if they're true, then this tunnel is certainly a big success. If you're watching and you live in Dublin, then I'd be interested to hear if you agree that these benefits have indeed been forthcoming. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Just before we talk about the tolls that are levied for the privilege of using the tunnel, please take an opportunity now to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This helps a lot and would really be appreciated. As far as tolls are concerned, I guess someone ultimately must pay for the 752 million euros build cost and for the continual upkeep and staffing of this structure. And that would be us, the tunnel users. In discouraging ordinary commuters from using the tunnel, they must pay a toll, while HGV vehicles can use it free of charge. If you're travelling to the far north of the country, Belfast, Derry, Letterkenny, by bus from central Dublin, you'll also go via the tunnel and for free. There's a maximum speed of 80 km per hour and there are 420 cameras located in the tunnel as part of the vehicle management system. So as you can see, we're keeping our speed down here. Thanks for watching again. Please like and subscribe and why not have a look at the many other Naked Ireland videos on our channel. There's definitely something there that you'll find interesting. Remember too, it's always great to read your comments below. So if you're a Dubliner with strong opinions on the tunnel, let our viewers know what you're thinking. And I'll see you in the next video.